Hello, everybody. This is Chuck Carnival, co-founder of FastGraphs, the Fundamentals Analyzer software tool. This particular video is a subscriber request of sorts. It's actually a stock that was recommended by someone who continuously makes comments on here on my YouTube channel. And it was a pretty interesting company. The company, as you can see, is Alpha ProTech Limited. And what I really found interesting, I went ahead and decided to examine the company because I wasn't familiar with it, to be honest. So let me give you a couple of overviews. Number one is the company's got about a $223, $224 million market cap. Okay, it only has 3% debt to capital. It's a very interesting company. If you look at the long-term operating earnings growth rate here through 2019, and this is very important, I want you to see the company grew on average at about 7%. Coming out of the recession, it had a surge in earnings growth. But what I really want you to see here, I've got two valuation reference lines. The orange line is a P-E ratio of 15, anywhere on the graph. The blue line is a P-E ratio of 20.43. What I want you to see is, with only very minor exceptions, this company traded within valuation ranges of a 15 P-E to a top end 20 P-E most of the time. But also look how beautifully the stock price, which is the black line on the graph, tracked earnings when we had the surge in earnings, the price surge, and then the price dropped, and then it tracked earnings beautifully, had a down year in earnings, the price kind of dropped a little, a nice pop, nice pop in price as well, got a little overvalued in 2017, and then it ended 2019 trading right in line with its fair value PE of 15, if you will. But this is, as I pointed out in the written portion, a COVID play. This is a very interesting company. So let's go into the company's website before I talk much more and I show you what I want to show you. This company obviously is building products, disposable protective apparel, face masks and shields, and then coating and laminating. So this should give you some clue about you know what it is that I really like about the company. So let's go into disposable protection and apparel, if you will, and let's look at face masks and face shields and so on and just get an idea of what this company is all about. Obviously, this is a COVID play. But here's what's really interesting. As a result of this horrible pandemic that we've been suffering through, look what's happened to the company's earnings, number one. Look at this surge in earnings. Earnings went from 23 cents in 2019 to a $1.79 estimate. Now, the reason that's an estimate, the company will is right now estimated to report earnings about February 25th or 6th. So in other words, in two or three weeks, we're going to see this, whether this is an actual or not. And then if we go ahead and look at estimates going forward, we also see that the company is expected to grow by another 39% in 2021, or a $2.49 earnings per share, 39% growth. Now, if we look at this, what I really want you to see, I'm going to keep this long-term perspective because I, it gives me a much better perspective here. I'm sorry. If I look at this, the first thing I want you to see, if I go to December 31st, 2019, as I pointed out, the stock traded at 343. By February 28th, the month-end closing stock prices was $21. That's a 512% growth, but that's a six-fold investment. In other words, $10,000 in originally invested in December of 2019 grew to $61,000. Now, keep in mind, the company pays no dividend, but I also want to point out it has very little debt, and it is a small cap. So we had this tremendous surge. The total annualized rate of return is really incalculable here, okay, it, it's it, because of the math in such a short period of time. But now here's what I also want you to notice. It actually got as high as $49.59. So, you know, that would have been a 12-fold increase had you been lucky enough. I say, you know, in the article, I say smart and or lucky enough to buy it at this, you know, attractive value here and sell it at its peak valuation. But since that time, if we look at it just from there to yesterday's closing price, and it was up a little bit the last time I looked today, you see that the stock has fallen another 21%. That gives us a blended P.E. of about 8.87. Trailing 12-month P.E. would only be 11. But based on our blended P.E., that's an 11.27% earnings yield. That's almost twice the earnings yield that is I consider my minimum threshold. So there's a lot of opportunity here. Now let's go ahead and look at forecasts, if we will. And I want to clarify a couple of things here. There's only one analyst really given the estimate. Now I showed you 
you know, analyst estimates from sites like Yahoo in the written portion. This is Yahoo. You can see they have one analyst, the same numbers, $1.79, 249 And while I'm here, they're forecasting 15% growth for the next five years. That'll become important here in a moment. So here we are. We have just one year's forecast here going into 2021 at 249 We still have an estimate for this year, which ended obviously in December, which we haven't got reported yet. But if I simply look at this company from a standpoint of what ifs, what if it traded at the 15 PE ratio that it is historically normally traded at, as I showed you on the historical graph, that would be doubling of your money. That would be turning, you know, that would be a, a, your, your stock would rise to over $37 a share. That would be a $20 share price gain from its closing price of 1649 if it traded at its forecast growth rate of 30 times earnings, which is not uncommon for a growth stock, you could end up making 353% capital appreciation or three and a half times your money. This would be in one year. Now, if I look at normal multiples, you know, the normal multiple, as I told you, as I showed you earlier, it ranged from this 15, 14, 15 up into the 20. So if I use the high number, a 20 PE on the stock, you know, that would be we would more than double our money by the end of the year. If I use that 15-ish PE, which I'm using here in this estimate, if I go to a 15 PE, again, I have a doubling. So the point is, this is a very attractive looking company that's going through a surge in growth that's going to be participating in COVID. Now, if COVID goes on for a long time, as expected, this could be a long-term winner. Now, I went into the custom calculator here Remember, I showed you Yahoo has a 15% earnings growth. So I'm going to apply the current estimates here first, and then I'm going to grow those earnings by 15% long term. And once again, at a 15 PE, that more, you know, classic, you know, range that the company's traded at, you've got an annualized return of over 29% per annum for the next five years. If it gets up into those 20 range, you've got a 37%, 36.89, you know, range. Even if it only trades at its nine current nine blended PE, you've got a chance to make 17 or 18%. So the real key is here, can the company continue to grow this fast? Remember, it's a surge in growth of 39% and then followed by 15% thereafter. This would, you know, give us a tremendous opportunity. So I think this is a stock worth looking more into. You can clearly see the how the price tracks earnings. That's a message that I constantly try to deliver in these videos. But you can also see that when we had a surge in earnings back here, the price reacted. We've got a surge in earnings here, the price has reacted. The real question is it's not over yet. There is apparently a little bit of uncertainty here, but this is a company that's worth looking into. You can go into you know, their investor services center here and you can look at, you know, news releases, learn about the company. You can spend some time in the About Us section and get, you know, the company information. You can learn more about their channel partners, and they have some very interesting channel partners here. Fisher Scientific, Tech Products. These are people that are selling Granger, that are Cardinal Health, that are selling or distributing their products. So this is a pretty interesting company, a pretty interesting opportunity. It's a growth stock. It's small cap. It's somewhat speculative, but it's one that some of you may want to take a closer look at because it does look very, very interesting given the dynamics of a longstanding, you know, struggle with the COVID pandemic going forward. This company will be supplying products that will be in high demand. Anyway, this has been Chuck Arnold. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give me a like and ring the bell and do all those good things. And I look forward to showing you more videos here on our YouTube channel. Thanks.